hi and welcome to this channel please subscribe if you like to watch more videos on flutter in this video we are going through crud operations they are create read update and delete we are going to use firebase firestore for crud operations let's first talk about it in theory and then we start coding basically the firestore has this structure we first have collections we have documents and then we have fields inside the fields you can create a new collection which itself will have document and field inside the fields again you can have a collection and it has documents and fields and so forth so you can make a very complex database inside the firestore easily and we can draw the structure as a tree for example if you have a collection and then we have our documents another document another document and this document and fields will have its own collection again this one has multiple documents and this one will have a collection again so we can draw this as a tree structure and we can have a really complex database so when we want to work with the fire store we need to get a pointer to a section in our database there are two types of references the pointers which we call references in firestore one is document reference and the other one is collection reference so the document reference refers to document level basically the reference is just a pointer to a location in our database in firestore we can set a pointer to document and we can start doing crud operations in this case this is a document reference we can also have collection reference which points to collection in document reference we bypass the collection and we point to the specific documents in the collection for example if you have multiple documents you straight reference the document that you want so it will be faster and easier to process and in the collection reference you point to the beginning of the database and you have access to all the documents inside that collection so let's go to the coding and we will code for both references the document reference and the collection reference so later on you can decide which one is best for you so let's jump to the coding part okay first we need to add firestore to our flutter project before we start the coding i have explained this in my previous videos i just go over them quickly here first in your firebase get the json file and add it to your android part of your flutter app 
you go to the project setting and here you should have a JSON file. You download this JSON file and add it to your Android section under app. You paste it here. You should have the JSON file here so it works with the Firebase services. The next thing is to go to database under develop here you should create your database now i have already created so i see this screen when you first create your project you see a create database button you should go through the steps and you will create your database next is to add the packages to your pubspec.yaml file you should have firebase core and cloud firestore under the dependencies and cupertino icons you should add these packages and hit pub get and then for every page of your app or every activity you should import the respective packages for example cloud fire store i have imported this package so i can use it inside my code if you need the details about these steps i will leave a link in the video description so you can watch that video in full detail so let's explore document referencing first now as we discussed in document referencing we are pointing to a specific document inside our database and we perform CRUD create read update and delete on the document here I have a simple application the user signs in using Google account and then here I have some text boxes that collects information from user and stores them into the database which is Firestore and inside the code this is the raise button the orange color here when I press this button on pressed I call the Firestore which I have defined here Firestore equals to Firestore dot instance make sure this F is capital and then I say Firestore dot collections and the name of the collections dot document and the name of the document dot set data inside the set data I get the information from the form and I store them into the database notice that the document name is the username so the first text box is going to be the name of my document and then the age and gender will be stored as fields of this document here in my fire store my database is empty so when you add data if the collection and documents are not available here so in this case it's empty the fire store will create them for you now if i fill this form for example user one i enter the age and gender and I hit submit now the Firestore automatically creates the collection the document and the fields for me and this is how we create a collection document and the fields in order to update these data you can use the same set data function here and update your data if you pass a field that is already in your database it will be overwritten for example here I keep the username I change the age to 
20 and I submit. Now the age is overwritten. Before it was 14, now it is 20. Or if you want to add another field, you can also have another text box and when the user enters the data and submits, all the information are same and you have an additional text box. So that information will be added to your database. Now let's read the data from the database. For this, I'm going to add another button. I just copy the button and add same button. I just say read and then inside on pressed, I say firestore dot collection and the name of the collection which is users dot document the name of the document is user1 in our case or you can make it variable based on the username and then we say dot get dot then we're going to have the results as doc and then inside here I'm going to assign my result to variable txt I define the variable txt and then I'm going to use a package named flutter toast. You can add it to your pubspec.yaml and then here I'm going to import flutter toast and then here we say flutter toast dot show toast the message will be txt our result okay let's run this app and we get an error let's see what the error says type int is not a subtype of string okay when we retrieve the age if we see the database the age is a number it's not a string so we are assigning number to a string so if we add to string and we run again we see 12 and here I print the data for that user using print doc dot data I'm going through the errors as I get them so if you face these errors you know how to fix them so that was reading the document now if we want to delete the document we need to specify the firestore variable and doc and collection name and document name and then we say the del dot delete and if we go back to the database we see that the user one is deleted so that was the brief overview of the crud operations for document referencing i put a link in the video description to an article about all the crud operations in firestore it is in detail and you can go through the different scenarios for CRUD operations in Firestore. Now let's discuss collection referencing. In collection referencing for adding or updating data we 
follow the same logic as document referencing just before in the document referencing we used to have set data function and in the collection referencing we are going to have add data instead of set data so we are going to add data to collection users dot add and then inside this we are going to have our data now we see that the firestore adds this randomly generated document and adds the fields for us and to update you get the document id and go through the same steps as document referencing so in the collection referencing we are not specifying the path and we want to start from the root and for deleting a collection we cannot delete the collection we have to delete the documents inside the collection so we say collection users dot get documents dot then data Here we go through each of the documents that we get and inside the element we say that for each element use the same delete function that we used before in the document referencing firebase.collections and the name of collections is user dot document and for the document name we specify element dot document id and then we say delete now the documents are deleted inside the collection so this way we can delete the documents inside the collection without knowing the name of the document and here we retrieve all the documents and we for each document we go through the name of each document or document id and we delete each of the documents you can also create queries in firestore for example you want to find users with age greater than 10 or equal to 22 or less than 40 for example you can go through the article in the description to know the details about the queries in firestore please subscribe to be notified for future videos thanks for watching i will see you in another video